Hi, welcome all of you. Nana here. I have just started a training program on fusion inventory implementation. It will be beginning from scratch and then it will be covering almost many, many topics and then you will now become uh, completely independent to implement it on your own. I'm covering the very exhaustive and then I'm now mixing certain topics of the procurement also so that you will be getting a very good <coughs> uh, insight into the product actually. So let me go on the share my screen now. So if you go and visit this oraclenana.com slash INV, oraclenana.com slash INV, you will now find the complete details of this training. So if you look at the agenda, I have now just, the training has just started and then uh, we have started creating an enterprise structure right from chart of accounts, ledger, legality and then the primary ledger. And then afterwards, uh, we go and then create the business units and then the employees are created. And then finally, we go into the inventory part by creating the facility ships, work department, and schedules. So I discuss about the item org as well as any inventory operation. And then I'll be creating the inventory organizations, locations, carriers, and transit times, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. <clears throat> and then finally go ahead on this inventory setup section. The costing setups is also completed, and then it will be uh, des described from an uh, inventory perspective for all the inventory transactions, how to perform the costing actually. And then uh, <coughs> uh, it goes up and up. And then uh, even a preliminary setup of uh, uh, what's called your uh, requisitions are going to happen now. And we will be uh, doing the uh, requisitioning setup also over here now. <clears throat> and then supply creation will also be sh shown over here. And then uh, afterwards, finally, we go and then jump into controls. <clears throat> so the controls that we are working upon. And then afterwards, we will uh, see about the transfers actually. <clears throat> and then we will now see uh, the replenishments and then the transfers. Fine. Now we will be covering the interop transfers and then even the transfer orders actually, and how to perform the transfer orders. And then uh, during the transfer orders, I'll be discussing about the release sequence rule, the pixel grouping rule, the ship confirmation rule, and then the shipping parameters in depth. And then finally, we go into the accuracy part, fine, ABC analysis, psychic counting, and physical And then the basics of inventory will be now dealt with, and then along with the units of measures and dual units of measures. Then afterwards, items are imported, and then the stocks import. So these two things will be shown to you. And then afterwards, we jump into some part of a, a procurement actually, fine, like a direct external inspection to the clothing, corrections, returns, etc. And then finally, it will end up on debit to monarchies. So, majority of the topics may be known to you, but there may be some value addition somewhere here and there. Fine. So, if you go through this, you can now see that you'll be getting something. The fee is very low actually. I'm not charging only INR 3000 for this now. It comes to approximately 50 US dollars or maybe less than that okay, actually. <clears throat> and then you can go and then see this one. The beauty of this training program is what I'm now going to give you lots of freebies now. Fine. So many freebies are given. You go there. I give you a lot of things free for you <clears throat> for attending this training. The ADF recordings and then uh, and the Fusion has seen records and then the what happens, your technical records. So the technical record and the ADF record will now highlight you, will now teach you about how to do it from a, from a technical perspective. And then uh, I will be getting a planning central OU records also over there now. <clears throat> Okay, and then uh, UPK content development training is there, and then there are plenty of things. Other. And then uh, all my e business uh, uh, records are given to e business manufacturing, ACP, procurement, and sourcing, e business inventory, <coughs> and then e business purchasing, and then e business order management. All these things are also given to you free of cost. So for 3000, you're getting a loot actually, fine. <coughs> so uh, you'll be able to revive your uh, knowledge on e business and then what happens, uh, jump start your career in fusion. And then uh, if even if you're fully familiar, what happens, uh, if you go and then go through the agenda, there may be something uh, which is worth learning over here. Fine. Some of the co concepts may be new for you, not that everything you may be knowing. So, but for the price you're going to pay, this uh, training program is uh, definitely a worthwhile one. And then what happens, I wish you all the best. And then I hope that you'll be able to <coughs> do it. Uh, you'll be able to join the program on us. It has just started and then four days old. And then uh, we are likely to, the likely duration is approximately six weeks now. Right? So in the six weeks, you'll be learning. And then I have got a good amount of uh, experienced participants. And then uh, you'll be able to interact with them in a very nice manner. Actually. We'll be creating a WhatsApp group and then we're doing it now. I'll be providing you <coughs> the instance to practice. <coughs> right, right. So you will be able to what happens, uh, practice without any problem till the training is over. And then beyond also, I'll be supporting you <clears throat> as long as my students help me. Uh, I'll be doing it now. Fine. So bye for now. And then uh, let us hope very soon. And then try to meet you on this. Fine. Once when the payment is done, if you click on the payment details in the top right hand top. If you click on it, you'll now find that our bank details are available. You know, fine. You can even choose one of the banks or you can even make a payment via Google Pay. And if you're abroad, uh, don't uh, do it. It will not accept it actually. And then Paytm. And then if you're abroad, you can use remitly.com.
and then remitly will be asking me my details you know fine fill up all the details over there and then fill it up on them make a payment is a very nominal payment i'm not asking you a huge amount fine <clears throat> it is definitely affordable by anybody so 3000 is not a big money so make a decision and then uh, come and join and then uh, talk to me if you have any clarifications on this fine good so nice meeting you fine bye for now